Hello, YouTube. Thought I'd do a quick video on uh, something that I failed to realize with the uh, uh, Redivus uh, power amplifier. Um, it's the uh, RT91 model. Um, if you use it with a repeater, there's a potential problem. And I did not realize this until now. And I got the owner's manual of this power amplifier in front of us, in front of you here. And you'll see what I mean. Um, the problem is, I have a sneaking suspicion if power, if there's a power failure, even during a storm, if the power goes off and comes back on, this unit will not come back on. Unless someone's there to press and hold the power button to turn the unit back on. Now, that's okay if the repeater setup is at your house or an easy access. But if this repeater setup is on top of a water tower or on top of a mountain that you just can't walk up there easily to turn the power amplifier back on, that's a problem. Now, the reason why that it is happening because the power switch in that particular power amplifier um, is a like more of an electronic switch compared to a mechanical switch. What I mean by mechanical switch is if let's take the switch in your in your house. If you turn your light your light switch on in your house and the power goes off and it comes back on the light turns back on because you left the switch on. That's a mechanical switch. This power amplifier does not seem to have that type of switch. It seems to be like an electronic switch that you got to press and hold to turn on. Now let's look at the manual here. And I have it right here uh, in front of us here. Uh, and this is what bothers me. And I'll find out when mine comes in. i got a sneaking suspicion this is going to be a problem. Um, but let's go ahead and look at this right here. Uh, and it's pretty pretty easy to uh, find here. Um, to turn the amplifier on, press and hold the on-off button until the power light comes on. Well, like I said, if, the, if there's a power failure and the power comes back online, whether it's during a storm, you get a power flicker or whatever, I got a feeling this is not going to turn on by itself unless, um, you know, you're there to, to actually literally do it. Uh, you know, I, I just, yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. Um, and that's, like I said, that's right here. And the, this is the owner's manual. You can look it up too um, yourself. But this is what it says right in the owner's manual of this particular power amplifier. Um, so... I'm going to have to see here when mine comes in if that can be modified or not. Uh, and if not, then we're going to come up with another plan. Because um, my thought was to take the Revitus uh, GMRS repeater, uh, which is the, R the RT97, which puts out, well, it's, it's they say 10 watts, but technically it's only 5 watts. Feed the 5 watts into this amplifier to give me about 20 to 40 watts, depending on how much it gets fed in. Um, kind of like a power boost. That's what my plan is. Uh, we may have to change that or get a different amplifier. Um, that's, that's, yeah, that might be a problem. And this particular amplifier looks to be a really nice one, too. Um, like I said, you know... Um, I think it says right here. Right here is uh, what I'm talking about. If uh, you feed in, let's kind of draw this out here. Right here. If you feed in 2 watts in, you get 20 out. If you feed 3 watts in, you get 30 out. So if I can do 4 or 5 watts, I should theoretically get about 35 watts out, um, even if you can do 6, but I'm going to be feeding in 5 watts Technically, it'd be so it should be about 35 watts ish, maybe a little more. Technically speaking, on paper, because like I said, it puts out the, the repeater itself puts out about five watts. So if I can get up to about 35 watt output, that would be really good. 
But with this power switch situation, that might be a problem, um, depending on where I put this repeater. So at any rate, I just like to point this out so no one makes the same mistake that I just did. Um, not the end of the world. Uh, you know, I just have to come up with a different way. Maybe it can be modified. I'll have to look at it when it comes in. Um, as soon as it comes in, I'll be doing a lot of videos on it, on the repeater and the antenna and all this stuff. And we're going to do a lot of experimenting so people can really see what, you know, can or, or what it can and can't do. Um, so, any rate, um, so yeah. So, if you have any questions or comments, please post down below. Thank you and have a good day.